Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here, welcome. And today I'm going to do another review and reaction of Legendary Season 3, Episode 8. There's three episodes in one day, so bear with me you guys. It is three o'clock in the morning and I'm still going. So you know, each and every video, I, I pick a comment from a last um, video, but last week, of course, they do three videos in one day. So this comment section, I'm going to pick three comments from episode number five. And the first comment that I chose was, Lay been giving them scores they deserve. It's not her fault. The other judges are overscoring. I understand Mother Yamamoto's frustration, but but so far the only tens Lay gave so far in this season was on point and she's been scoring them eights and nines. I think I think they believe she has some sort of grudge with them because of Lay's past drama with Devo, but she's but she's actually been praising him the mo the most and they haven't been using him to his full potential. Okay, all right. Next comment that I chose was, I hope Juicy won't get the Tishi curse, win after win, then just one mishap, it's all over for them. Laomi for sure is saving that gag flag for them. I, I'm hoping they got the right winners this season and it will be juicy. Okay, okay, I feel that. Third comment that I chose was, I loved Bob and Law's little moment because I agree with Bob. Just because you saw you saw the reference as a stylist, that's great. But like Bob said, most of us aren't. And, and looking at Revlon's costumes, I didn't see anime. I saw melted metal sculptures, so it was worth pointing out. Let me know what you guys think of this episode and your comment might be chosen in the next one. If you guys want to watch my full reaction as well as watch the as well as watch the full episode, unedited, uncropped, uncensored, and all that good jazz, definitely hit up my um hit up my Patreon, which is gonna be linked down in the in the description box below, as well as my website where you guys can purchase some fabulous merch like this. I am legendary, so you guys can rep your legendary selves. Please give this video a thumbs up, you guys, because a thumbs up goes a very long way. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload because you guys would want to do that. It's good content. It's good, good fucking content. Without further ado, let's get ready to react and review to Legendary Season 3, Episode 8. Okay, Miss Kiki. Okay, Miss, Miss Kiki said, girl, I'm going to show you, all these, show you what I've been hiding. <laughs> the sailor bitch has entered the building. You look over, Miss Laomi. Law looks good. I love that suit, Miss Law. That's over. Okay, Jamila. A bikini and a fur. I just don't get it, but okay. Whoa. Miss Motherfucking Kelly, bitch, you look sickening. I'm ready to take it deep. Okay. Story of my life. <laughs> Each house will bring it. To the beach while throwing shade at the remaining houses, Ooh. and their specialists must vote with a prop. It's giving MTV Spring Break. Oh, love that! How do they even know that? Did were they even born back then? Did were they even like able to understand that moment? Come on, bitch! I'm loving the juicy. Something about that. Beach ball's good. It's clean and crisp. And then we present it to the world because once you And that's what they've been giving season, us this whole season. Clean and crisp and perfect. Love the theme, girls. <laughs> Bring me to the concert, bitch. Oh, I'm here for all of this. Ooh. She is performing, bitch. And get them. Her dancers are in sync. And they are voguing. Yes, bitch. And the moment with the beach ball. Here we go. <laughs> yes, you fucking bitch. And she's not dropping it. See how she's still grasping it? Just like she's grasping her talent. And she's grasping the judges. That's what she was supposed to do. Y'all. Cleared that it wasn't just like oh, i'm gonna come out there in vogue i'm going to give you a show i want to buy a ticket to the show just saying this was excellent it I'm was mm-hmm 
here in the main scene, honey. Can you see how it comes? Last week should have been another week, too. Go ahead. Oh, okay, bitch. I mean, they didn't need it. Okay. I would have waited till the, the next episode because just in case. I'm going to give you a bone look like telling you. It's no shame. I don't see why we're still here. We should go home and just give them the money. Oh, okay. I don't think that's fair to say as a judge. <laughs> this is how you start off the show. To see where other the other house is going to go. This is, this is how you judge a 10 on. No shade. They got a 10 for me. There you go. What did I say? Girl, at this point, girl, just hire me to be a fucking judge, girl. This is ridiculous. We're doing a 1940s commercial. Okay. Gave us some reflectors to use this time. Yes, Yamamoto, bitch. Oh. Oh. This is ballroom, y'all. <laughs> Back to the poor people's production. Love it. Come on, bitch. Come on, Miss Aoki. It needs to pick it up, though. It needs to pick it up. They need to be more cleaner. Okay, give me my reflection moment. I need a reflection moment for real, for real, y'all. Come on now, Yamamoto. And don't, don't do just looking at me. Oh, come on, Yamamoto. I needed a better reflection. The thing about it is, they were selling the lotion, not the reflector. I really loved it. I'm going to give the house to Yamamoto a nine tonight. Thank you. Thank you. There were some things in the middle that I thought got a little confusing. It was a lot of things to look at. It was really close to a perfect Thank performance. You. Thank you. So I will also give you a nine. Yeah, Thank same. So yeah, it's yeah. true. I would give it a nine. This was my favorite performance of yours. They did really good. Wonderful prop performance. I feel as though you could have pushed that just a little bit further yeah. to make it unforgettable. So proud of yourselves. And so my score tonight is a well-deserved night. And the score that I'm going to give them would be a lovely 10. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love the energy. It's so weird for people to agree with Jamila. <laughs> the facts of it all. We're just getting at a point in competition where I have to be critical to the nth degree in order for us to Yeah, you know, this is the end. Winner. That the shade could have been a little harder. Not the shade. The shade was in the beginning. The shade was hard. Uh, Calling out the houses like that. But honestly, I would have given them a good nine. They was very close to a ten, but I needed a little bit more. I wanted to do wanted them to do something different with the reflectors besides giving reflectors. I needed them to create a wing with it. I needed them to do something with it. But I loved everything. I loved everything about it. And Aoki, you looked amazing. Yeah, that's a good prop. I discovered the bomb scene in 2014. Chad, I feel so old. Six houses down, three to go. Shade. Come on, props. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's cute. It's okay. I needed more shade from them. I needed something more from them. I like the prop situation, but the shade was... It was, it was, it was missing something. The plate needed more seasoning a little bit. But to me, last function was actually better than yeah. tonight. Yeah. Kobe, it kind of reminded me of when Michelle fell on 106 apart. Ooh! Now, <laughs> bitch! The shade of it all. Girl, she would have got knocked. The score is an eight for me. Okay. Last function's performance was better. At this point in the competition, we need to see everything you've got. You don't ever want anybody to walk away from your performance saying, oh, I love their outfits. You want them to say, them bitches ate. Here. Mm. Lay it all out here. That's what the stage is for. I'm going to give you guys... And nine, because I see what the potential is. See, we're not doing all that. We're not seeing what's potential. We're talking about what's now. Being more consistent, hitting it at that high level. So tonight I'm going to give you guys an eight. Yeah. Never sleep on yourself as an artist. You know, you have to always value yourself to become the best that you can be. And 
still, still young. young, baby. I'm going to give you guys a nine tonight. I would have given them a good eight. I just wanted some more from them. Oh, girl, well, it is the shade ball. We received from the Revlons was a freaking beach chair. Our commentator is going to be the lovely Mother Jada. Okay. I spent almost two years perfecting music. I want to be able to make music for us to perform to all over the world. I feel it, girl. Going ahead. Being a rapper was something that would be taken seriously. And for not only for it to be taken seriously, but it to be celebrated. Oh, girl, you'll, you'll make it, girl. You'll make it. We believe in you. <laughs> okay, she looked good. Come on, bitches. That's right. Give me the energy. Okay, they're kind of not in sync, but okay. Okay, that was cute. Okay. Come on, mother. Okay, now give me the beach chair. Come on now. Come on, beach chair. That's it? Okay. I needed a lot more shade, and I needed a lot more beach chair. There is no space None. for lack of cleanliness. And so my score is a seven. Mm. I wanted to see the chair just a little used just a little bit more. If y'all mm -hmm. are this creative, you can definitely do more with that chair. Give you an eight. But you are not strong performers together. And that mm. is where I'm confused. Yep. So I'm gonna give you guys a six. Oh. It ain't over for y'all yet. Y'all still got a redemption. And you know how you guys excel on one on one battles. I'm gonna give the house an eight tonight. Jada. Sickening. Over. Giving. I'm gonna give you a nine. I want to root for them so bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just because they're so good individually. I don't know what the disconnect with them together is. But I would have gave them an eight. The houses can add up to ten more points to their score, which could change everything. Sex sight. Okay, bitch. Come on, Yoji Yamamoto. Sell it to me, bitch. That's right, bitch. You look over. Yeah. <laughs> you sold it to me already from the gate. Okay, come on, Machiavelli. I see it. All right, let's give you Catboy Sex Siren. Which one of these was a sexier beach? Loose. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yamamoto for sure. Good job. Good job, Machiavelli. She is sexy though. You know what I'm saying? She's serving me a little sexy. She's giving you a little steam. I can see the sex. Oh. <laughs> Cleared it. Ooh. Cleared it, Miss Lolita. I'm gonna give it to you, Lolita. Yeah. Yeah, Lolita. I'm sorry, just for future reference, I don't think any time a female figure and a male figure battling against each other, a male is gonna win over a female figure. That's just for me. I'm sorry. Not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. This is woman's sex siren, bitch. Oh. Yes, bitch. Yes, Miss Lucy. Oh, Miss Lucy is selling me something, but Miss Lolita is oozing it too. I'll give it to Miss Luce. No shade. Both of y'all were really fabulous. Right. So I'll go for you, Luce, because y'all. I'm gonna give it also to the house of Yamamoto. Yes, it's true. The extra dip of wasabi. I'm going with Lolita. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say. Ah! They both did good. Lolita. Good job. <laughs> good job. Good job. Five extra points for the ball, which means. I agree. Miss Lolita did it effortlessly. Good job, Miss Lolita. Octopussy. The challenge is a hand performance number smashed with arm control. Okay, this is different. It's interesting. I like this. Yeah. 
Revlon. They're both doing so good, but Revlon is giving me something. Oh yeah, Miss Revlon. <laughs> Miss Revlon, bitch. Both of them did so good, but Miss Revlon captivated me. I'm gonna give it to the House of Revlon. The House of Revlon. I'm gonna give it to Revlon. Love how Juicy's starting off, bitch. It's controlled and confident. Miss Juicy is giving me, I got this. Oh, Miss Juicy. Oh, oh Miss Juicy served that. Miss Juicy just annihilated that situation. Yes. It's always juicy. No shade. Oh. They're so good. Oh, this is so good. I don't know yet. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They did so good. I don't know. I don't fucking know. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? freaked out it's, it's juicy do you want some juice in your cup yes i love you oh my god that is so amazing good job both teams damn juicy you just winning this damn thing this is the best best episode so far with the teams doing so good congratulations you are safe the top score of the night the house of Juicy Couture, you are the superior house. Juicy again, winning it, which deserving. The house of Revlon and the house of Machiavelli, you are the lowest scoring houses of the night. Mm. I'm sending my daughter Giselle, and she's about to show y'all what Fem Queen performance is. All right. Come on, Fem Queen performance. Please come out, Miss Jada. I was going to send Mara out there, but me at the back. I need to see it. Fem Queen versus Fem Queen. I need to see Fem Queen. I need to see the breakdowns, bitch. I need to see a. I need to see. I need to see. I need to see all of that. Bitch, I need to see all of that. Bitch, I'm getting hyped, bitch. Let me calm down. Let me pick my snapper. Kiwi strawberry, your favorite too? Come on now, y'all. Keep it Fem Queen performance. Don't be bothered by her. Don't be bothered by her. Stay in your own lane. Oh, I don't know what happened. What's going on? They trying to do too much. I need to see Fem Queen performance. I don't know about this battle. It was all right. I didn't feel my puss, but it was okay. I didn't. Mm, I needed Fem Queen performance. No shade, she ain't that bitch. She ain't that bitch. <laughs> My vote is with the House of Red Lawn. My vote goes to the House of Red Lawn. Yeah. Well, don't walk off. Don't walk off. Why would you walk off? Yeah, why would... That, that don't look good. We gotta put yeah. to go shit to the side. The real battle is between me and Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Yes, they did good. They did good, Revlon. Good job, Revlon. I would have voted for Revlon as well. We got to live a lot of our dreams right here. Amen. Mm -hmm. Boogie would be so proud. He looking down on y'all like, thank you. So good job, Machiavelli. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction and review of A Legendary Season 3, Episode 8. Okay, let's get right up into this. Now, as for me, the main challenge hands down juicy 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 what they were serving is what i want to buy is what show they was performing at i want to go like everything from their look from their shade to their to their um prop performance perfect immaculate 
precision, voguing with the prop, it, it just throwing the shade as well and doing what they needed to do with that. It, it, it was perfect, 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 perfect. Loved it. Um, and it's just unfortunate that the house, I was expecting a lot from the House of Revlon as well. And um, yeah, it just, it just was a, it was a very interesting performances from these other houses. But I mean, ultimately they did what they had to do. But Miss um, Juicy Couture, hands down, y'all slayed that. <clears throat> now the second category was um, Sex Iron. Now, Miss, Miss Yamamoto and Miss Juicy Couture, Miss Lolita and Miss Luz. Y'all, to me, I think is probably one of the one of the, the best categories of the season. Like y'all made me, y'all made me go up. Y'all made me go up. Y'all made me go up. It's no shade. No, yeah, y'all made me go up. Like, but it was a very, very hard. It was a very hard call. I would have gave it to me. I would have gave it to Miss um, to Miss Luce. I would have personally gave it to Miss Luce. Um, I enjoyed it. I, I think that um, she did a little bit better to me than Lolita, but Lolita did serve it effortlessly. It was just like Lolita is just, I don't know. It just, she just, she just exudes sexiness just by itself. She doesn't need to do a lot. Neither does Luce though, but it's just Luce was doing a lot of acrobatics versus Lolita just oozing the sex appeal. You, you feel me? But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I liked a little bit of effort, to be honest with you. And the way she was selling it, Miss Luce was. I would have gave it to her personally. Now, third category of the night was basically hand performance, um, controlled hand performance, I guess, with four people. Um, House of Juicy, House of Revlon. Yeah, y'all slayed that. <laughs> yeah, there, there was no words for that. Y'all slayed that. It was... It was perfect from Miss Juicy, Miss Juicy, Miss Juicy, Miss Juicy, Miss Juicy. You can tell that they're so close and you can tell that they're just so close knit with each other. Like they're the same people on the floor. Like it's so good and it's so ridiculous and it's so perfect. And the way that they're slaying this competition like that to be a Kiki house. No, fuck that. The way they're sl slaying this competition just because they're slaying this competition. Like it's ridiculous. Like. It's so impressive and I don't know how these these houses are going to even win this season like it's predictable kind of at this point I'm not calling it I'm just saying like I just think that they're gonna win at this point but um yeah let me know what you guys think of this of this episode of the main category um sex iron and um hand controlled hand performance let me know what you guys think now the top house was obviously Miss Juicy Couture, hands down, congratulations, totally agree with that. Bottom two houses was Machiavelli and the House of Revlon, um, which to me I think was deserved. House of Revlon, I don't know what the hell they were doing this episode. I just didn't, I just didn't understand it. I just wanted some more from them. I don't know what happened with, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I just don't know what happened. But, um, but yeah, bottom two houses I totally agree with. Now the battle situation, I love the Femme Queen performance of it all. I was expecting Femme Queen performance. I was expecting for me to just give, you know, you know, you know, you know, a, a performance is sickening is when a Femme Queen reaches her hand out and she gives the Femme Queen finger. And that wasn't given that. It wasn't given that. It wasn't given the Femme Queen finger. It wasn't given the Femme Queen finger. It was giving you, all right. That's cute. I see what y'all doing. You know, y'all playing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel like, you know, I feel like I, you see me and I see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was that. But, um, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't understand it. I think that um, Machiavelli was messing up it, with some of her technique and stuff. And then, and then Revlon was too focused on Machiavelli running to her side and doing all the extra stuff when she could have broke it down on her one, one section, you know what I'm saying? And just really broke it on down and gave me Femme Queen performance. But I don't know if they too, they, I don't know if they too new for that. I don't know if they know the breakdown of Femme Queen performance, but here nor there, that's what we got. But um, to me personally, I, pro I would have gave it to Revlon and that's who, who they gave it to as well. And Revlon is staying another episode. So congratulations, House of Revlon. Machiavelli ends up leaving this episode, which think I think it was well-deserved. But they did give a good fight this season. Con you know, thank you for showing out Machiavelli. And um, Boogie is 
looking down on you guys and saying how how much of a blessing it is to see you guys represent not only for your house but also for him so proud of you proud of everything that you guys shown and giving a good fight this season and um but yeah like i said let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below if you guys want to watch the full reaction and watch the full episode definitely hit up my patreon which is going to be linked in the description box below as well as my website where you can purchase this merch right here. I am legendary, so you can rep your legendary selves. Give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. And also check out my, my interviews that I'm doing with the contestants on this show. If you guys aren't watching the interviews, you guys are kind of missing a lot of things that like are internal and on the show that happens that you guys don't see. And it's been quite juicy. Some members have been kicked out of the houses. Some members have been arguing. You got to find out. You got to watch the interviews to, to get the tea. But yeah, other than that, you guys, like always, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it, as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one, bye.